I just got here uh, today from New York. It's a bit of a shock. A lot of homeless people, a lot of crusty punks here. What the, uh, the, the homeless people is not shocking. There's homeless people in New York. What's shocking to me is like they smiled at me and made eye contact. <laughs> That's a San Francisco. Your homeless people are a lot more chill. To sum this up, I saw a homeless guy in New York shitting and eating at the same time. <laughs> Have you guys caught that here? You made a wish? You have to make a wish. <laughs> That's not mean like it's making fun of the homeless, but that's not about the homeless. That's about New York City and how busy that city is. That guy only has those two things to do, and he still has to multitask. That's what New York does to you. If you're not shitting and eating at the same time, you're not a real New Yorker. As far as I, can tell you. I drink wine on the toilet sometimes. You ever do that, sir? <laughs> It's not the classiest way to drink a glass of wine. I'll live in, you have to admit that's hands down the classiest way to take a shit, though. There's no, there's no denying that. Red, always red. More antioxidants. If I'm shitting, I might as well be getting punishments. This is great. I feel old in New York now, too. I'm like in my 30s, which is old. I'm like doing comedy shows, it shouldn't be old. So, you know, in your 30s is not old, so it's clear. It, but in one particular way, I realized I reached the point where I can no longer tell whether someone's attractive or just in their early 20s. <laughs> you know what I mean? Are you pretty or you just didn't begin to decay yet? <laughs> I have to wait to see if you're at a fireball at the bar, and then I'm like, oh, that's a child. <laughs> Grown-ups don't do that. I started decaying. My first, the first thing to have my hair started, it like started thinning this year. I started using shampoo for thinning hair. I don't know if anybody's familiar with that. Yeah. yeah so if you're not familiar, do you guys remember No More Tears shampoo when you were little? <laughs> this is basically extra tears shampoo. <laughs> it burns when it gets in your eyes, and then you think about life. It burns again. And it doesn't work. Here's the thing, right? I think it doesn't work on my hair, but it drips down and works on my beard. My hair is still getting thinner. My beard, not only getting thicker, but it's like taking over more of my face. You can see I trimmed up. It's met the eyebrows. My head's basically a metaphor for global warming right now. The ice caps are melting and the shoreline is rising in the space I need to live. I need these eyes to live. Most like global warming, nobody gives a shit. <laughs> about men going bald though. This is how you know science, they would have cured baldness by now, right? If anybody gave a shit, right? This is how you know science doesn't give a shit about baldness because even science fiction doesn't give a shit about baldness. You look at any sci-fi movie, anything set in the future, they got flying cars. I saw that uh, the RoboCop remake recently, they take a human brain in that movie and put it into a prosthetic robot body. That's incredible, right? Flying cars, robots, guess what? There's still bald people in all of those movies. They can't even imagine a world where we cure baldness. It's outside our fantasies. Alex mentioned Wolverine. There are X-Men sequels where they fix Professor X to walk again, and he's still bald. <laughs> They fixed his spine, and they just stopped at the eyebrows. Damn just it! keep going. Make him a healthy young man again. I don't know why they wouldn't do that. It's not right. I uh, just moved to, uh, in Brooklyn recently to a Hasidic Jewish neighborhood. Do they have those here? No. Is it a Jewish? No. <laughs> What did you guys do? You have cross bones, you have everybody else. What did you do to the Jews, San Francisco? Uh, no, I'm uh, not a huge fan of it either. I snuck in. I, uh, I went to an Orthodox Jewish bachelor party recently, which is a nightmare. I don't recommend it to anybody. It was me, it was in upstate New York, which is like four hours north of where I live, and I was on a bus on a Friday filled with Orthodox Jews. They can't be on the bus during the Sabbath. So they get on, they're like, oh my God, is this bus gonna make it upstate in time for the Sabbath? For four hours, they're all going crazy if this bus is gonna, basically I was stuck in a shitty Israeli remake of Speed for four hours. <laughs> I would not shut up about it. And then we get there, I paid $400 to be at this bachelor party, and I find out we can't leave the house because it's the Sabbath. But 
they ordered strippers to come to the house. <laughs> There's nothing in the good book about respecting women. God will get mad if we leave the building, but bring the flesh for cash, that's fine, according to the good book. But to be clear, I'm not a fan of strippers or strip clubs or religious people for that matter. <laughs> But if I'm already there, you know, I'm not a fan of running a bachelor party with my morality either, you know what I mean? If I'm already there, the strippers are already there, I'm gonna try to enjoy myself, right? I'm not just gonna sit around like, you girls ever heard of DeVry? I'm not, I'm not changing any lives over the course of the weekend. But what took me out of it, one of the strippers called it a sausage fest, which is a weird thing, right? For a stripper, for anybody, to a room full of Jews, no less, they can't even do that. <laughs> but also, that's a weird insult, right? Sausage fest, you guys have heard that before. People need to stop saying that as an insult. I've been to an actual sausage fest, they're excellent. <laughs> it's not an insult. <laughs> I feel weird around strippers, honestly. I, I feel weird watching porn at this point. Like, not even for moral reasons. I saw a video that really freaked me out. It was a guy, there's a, nothing like weird, not a fetish thing. Started off very normal videos. Like a guy sitting on a stool, this girl straddling him, the camera's like two feet away. They're fucking so far so good. And then the guy's dick fell out of her vagina and the camera guy reaches in and puts the dick back in the vagina. That took me out of it. That's not even a porn thing that you don't do that. That's a basic camera guy rule that you don't do that. That's day one of camera guy school. Don't break the fourth wall. That's the most basic thing that this guy needs to do. This shit goes right in. Changes the porn genre. That's a POV porn now. I didn't sign on for that. That's my hand reaching in for that dick, essentially. <laughs> Presumptuous, I'd be so helpful. I would not. There's no alley-oops in porn. That's not how that works. <laughs> you guys got the Pride Parade weekend. We just had it last weekend in New York. I work with this guy in New York who would have a problem with that for the wrong, the wrong reasons. This guy is like... This is a grown man with a wife and kids, no reason to be insecure, in New York, liberal city, but he like can't handle men kissing to the point where like he like makes a groan and if I don't, he's like, what's the matter, man? You don't think that's gross? Were you gay? And I'm like, no, that's not how that works. Because <laughs> I'm not gay doesn't mean I think that's gross. Kinda like, Just because I'm not a pedophile doesn't mean I think your children are disgusting. <laughs> There's a whole middle ground there where I just don't give a shit about your children. <laughs> That's how you should feel about two men kissing. Not only am I un not uncomfortable seeing two men kiss, I'm much more uncomfortable seeing a guy and a girl hooking up in front of me. Two guys hooking up, there's no relevance there. That's just like part of the environment. If you guys started hooking up, right? that's like two steps away from me jerking off in front of the computer. That's what I'm <laughs> Put a window and a keyboard in front of them, I might commit a felony right there and there. Reach in, put his dick in the <laughs> I've seen the wrong videos, you know? 